The last section I want to discuss with you is the template. And this is probably uh, one of the most important sections um, because the template will allow you to add stuff like the Google AdSense tag, the Google Analytics tag, um, uh, various bits of JavaScript. Um, so let's take a look back at my blog. And first of all, what you can do is you can post a couple of links. Let's see, I have a link to Google Video and my videos on YouTube. You can see some of my crazed mule videos here. Like a tutorial on Blogger and a Cinellara test and hello from on holiday. In order to utilize uh, the right hand margin here, uh, you do that using the template editor. And so what I have here, just to show you a quick example, in videos, if I edit this, click on edit, this is uh, HTML again, and what I have is uh, the tag is uh, an href tag, it's a hyperlink reference, and it's enclosed in greater than and uh, less than sign, that's, that's the actual less than sign. So notice on the page, if I bring the page back up, the text of the link is Google Video. And that, that text appears between um, the opening tag, this long thing, and the short closing tag. This is the, the closing tag for the uh, anchor element. That's what the A stands for. So if we look at this, it's open uh, less than sign a space href equals and then in quotes my uh, the actual link uh, target equals underscore new actually just pops up a new browser window um, and then there's the words Google video and then in a close uh, the the closing tag for the anchor element is the uh, in uh, brackets uh, not brackets but less than forward slash a for anchor and then greater than so that's actually a quick tutorial on a hyperlink I'm going to close out of this window and I just want to show you one more uh, one more thing about the template page and notice this is the exact template of your blog notice videos docs and then there's some HTML JavaScript that corresponds to the right margin, videos, docs, and then what that HTML JavaScript little box on the template page described was actually this ad from Google, Google AdSense. And I'll just show you the format of the Google AdSense little widget. Click edit here. Um, when, you, when you sign up for Google AdSense, um, Google actually gives you this this uh, text. So this is just code, it's JavaScript code, and all you have to do is uh, create a new page element on your template and pop this, pop all this stuff into the new page element in your template. Notice that uh, a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, add width is 160 pixels, add height 600, add format. Um, you'll get into it. It's a it's a lot of it's a lot of research, but you'll you'll get to it. Um, add type. Uh, the add type is both text and images. So depending on what uh, the advertiser pays for, it could be a text ad or it could be an image ad. And I set some colors. Um, this code is. Um, actual uh, RGB code. It's a uh, hexadecimal representation of the colors RGB. Uh, R is the first two digits. Uh, green are the second two digits. And blue are represented by the last two digits. So zero, 00 is like the absence of any blue. FF, which is a hexadecimal number, would be all blue. And the 
hexadecimal is actually uh, there's 16. Uh, if you're counting in hexadecimal, you count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So um, there are two values for each color, and there are 16 values for each. And so 16 times 16 is 256. So there are 256 possible variations of the various uh, intensities of, uh, um, in this case, the color blue. And they combine with green and red to give you all the colors that you can see. Okay, so that is the uh, AdSense widget. And the other important widget is at the bottom of my page, which you can't see right now. The important widget is the Google Analytics widget. So again, Google is free. You log into Google and create an account. They give you a nice piece of code. And you plop this on your blog in the template. You basically say, hey, I want to create. Actually, let me move this up so you can see it. I want to create a new page element in a little piece of JavaScript. So I want to add a little piece of JavaScript. I'm going to say add it to the blog. I can plop that down. And actually I would, what I could do, I could save my changes right here. Um, and then I would have Google Analytics on my site so I could track my visitors. That's freaking awesome. You'll do the same thing with AdSense. And actually, when um, Blogger makes it easy for you, because they actually have the AdSense, little little AdSense widget right here, so you really don't have to do much work. And again, um, these colors, uh, notice that uh, the color white is selected, it's really difficult to tell, but there is a black border around the color white. Color white is um, all colors together, so that's why it's FF, 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 like the highest intensity of red, green, and blue. You can actually uh, tailor your your ad units and so forth, but you have to um, you have to sign up and so forth. So um, that uh, you should read about on uh, Google.com/adsense. That's the quick tutorial for today on using Blogger, and uh, 